Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Jemmerick coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, we are completing Carlos Puyol's campaign, as well as going through a few things about my club. So let's get right into the video. So guys, welcome to another video on the channel. And today, guys, we are going through and completing the Carlos Puyol campaign. What we need for this campaign, guys, is 10 Spanish players with a 100 overall rating. So what we're going to be doing is showing you my squad and then just going through a few things, talking about the state of my club uh, and just looking at sort of like what we've got invested in and, you know, looking at potential investments going forward. So let's go through and finish off the Puyol campaign first. So First and foremost, guys, we need to switch up our left wing. Uh, for the left wing, we are going to be using Marco Asensio from the La Liga Rivalries uh, campaign, or the, the promo, sorry. Absolutely fantastic campaign, guys. What an insane promo that was. We've also got Fernando Torres up front, who is going to be our Spanish striker. And at right wing, we are going to be using no other than Pedro, the Chelsea man. Uh, he does actually have a new card on Carnival, uh, the left mid, which does look relatively decent, but he is relatively expensive, so I'm not sure whether or not he's worth it. Uh, we are going to be putting in Iniesta here from Team of the Year. So the thing is, is that, you know, obviously I'd need to go through and purchase some of these players uh, from the market, um, but I will be selling them back, so, you know, technically you're only losing tax on them. Uh, we do have Javi Martinez here at Central Defensive Midfielder. We will be keeping Dali Ali because that rank up on him is absolutely vital uh, for campaigns. I want to actually rank him up uh, a second time uh, as soon as possible because it does really, 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 really help uh, for campaigns. At right mid, guys, we're going to be using Carlos Sola, uh, 95 overall, base 86. Uh, and then we've obviously got Sergio Ramos, we've got De Gea, we've got Puyo. And then finally, we are going to be using Vallejo, the man from uh, Madrid. So... This, in total, adds up to, uh, I think it was around 4 points off 95 overall. So, our coins are extremely low, guys, but that's all good. What we're going to be doing is uh, just leveling up a few skill boosts. So, first and foremost, we're going to be doing the generalist one, which is 200k. So, let's go through and do that. Get up solar to 96 overall. Uh, and then, we are going to also do ball control for Iniesta. So we are now two ratings off the, the elusive 100 overall guys with 10 Spanish players in the team and our coins are extremely, extremely low. Now, the best player for me to probably train uh, would be the Essenjo. Um, what I'm going to do is actually go through and train him and then what I can do in the future is actually use him uh, as training fodder in the future. So that's alright because... Ultimately, what's going to happen going forward is that, you know, we, I don't think there are any other Spanish icons, so he's technically just an XP bag uh, for the time going forward. So let's go through and uh, do that and then go into the campaign, guys. Uh, so let's see, what sort of XP have we got here? We've got some of the attacker XP. We will go through and use that. Uh, we've also got some of this XP here. Let's see. Or alternatively, what we could actually do is... Um, Let's just have a look. 320k. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, 320k. Let's just have a look at our options. Let's have a look at uh, Puyol. So, we do actually have some Puyol XP, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I'm pretty sure he's quite expensive, though. So, he is going to cost... Let's see... 1.8 mil. Okay. What we're going to do, guys, is actually just go through a few of our investments and then click them up. Uh, and then just go from there, because uh, it's probably actually more beneficial to level up Puyol because I do I do actually want to level him up, um, at least to 95 overall anyway. So we're going to go through and collect up a few of our investments and just talk about them. Uh, so first and foremost, guys, we've got the Gareth Bale. Uh, the Gareth Bale, uh, we didn't exactly make coins on him, but we broke about even on him, uh, and we did manage to get a video out on him, and I did really enjoy playing with him, uh, but it was just probably more beneficial to actually go through and sell him. Um, so we did go through and sell him eventually. Um, now, some of these Team Hero cards, I did sell them very, very cheap, uh, but I profited on all of them. Like this Ben Arfa, I got him for around 10k. 
Uh, the car stops were around, I think like 20K. Some of these cards go extremely, extremely low. The motto was around 10K. Uh, the Emre Chan was about 20K, I think. Emerson was probably about 30K. Um, I can't remember exactly, but same with the one Jesus guys. Like seriously, some of these cards just dip so low. Now the thing is, is that obviously I could wait uh, to, you know, get more coins on these cards because it is potential to get, you know, like 50 to 60k for the 76s or even like 80 to 100k for the 77s. But for me, like I, I, I need to recycle my coins because otherwise I'm just going to be sitting on coins for months on end and, you know, it sort of passes opportunities when I want to invest. Uh, also, the Milners were around 20k. Um, who else do we have here? Just a lot of very similar cards guys, but you know, they are all profit and at the end of the day Fast coins are better for me than slow coins which can which can take up to a month, you know, to 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 generate because otherwise it's just it's just too slow The money is just too slow and in my opinion I feel that it's dead coins. Lichtensteiner 52k could have easily waited on him as well But like I said, we're just recycling guys. Ari Ola, um, you know, very very cheap. He was probably around 40k I, he was just actually sitting on my bench, so I did sell him. Uh, this dude here as well, around 20k as well. Um, and we do actually have some elites which did sell um, for Also guys, we do have a whole bunch of other elites that we are trying to sell. Um, so I'm just going to go through and collect up these, and then reassess my options uh, with regards to who I should train. Um, so let's go through and collect up these, see what our coin total is. It's not going to be high because we've still got a whole bunch of investments to actually sell um, with regards to the, what was it, the carnival program. Um, the prices have sort of been fluctuating a little bit. It's, it's quite strange actually, um, but we should be at least 20 mil here. Let's see what we're at. Yeah, so we're at around 20 mil, so that's all right. Um, we'll just go through the, our other investments really, really quickly um, before we actually jump into the Puyo campaign. Um, so let's go through and have a look at our reserves. So we, like I said, we've got about, I'd say 20, 20 elites list, listed up. We've got a whole bunch of Akin Thieves. We've got two Akin Thieves. We've got four, five Color Solars. We've got the Jorge, we've got the Young. Uh, we didn't actually sell him uh, because their price is just so low right now. I'm thinking about potentially investing in them, but I'm not sure. Uh, Di Maria, we picked him up for around 600K during the Heartbreakers. Very, very, very cheap. Um, Erskan as well, he was around just under 800k, um, but yeah, those are our investments at the moment guys, and obviously we've got, you know, the De Gea to sell, um, you know, these cards as well to sell, so we should be at around, I don't know, at least 60 mil I'd say, uh, once we sell everything, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, we'll have to wait and see, but let's go through and actually train up this Puyol, at least to 95, and then we'll train up the, the we are going to go through and just put in enough XP to get him up to 500k because I may just use him as a 95 overall rank up because he isn't the greatest card guys he's actually he's quite short uh, and he does get rainbowed over quite a bit so let's put in that 75k there and let's see what else we've got have we got any small XP so we've got obviously a whole bunch of XP uh, from the icon thing which is always always useful guys I recommend everybody doing that every single week because it does really 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 help um, let's see here. We've got a few Russians as well guys. We did pick up a few Russians uh, relatively cheaply as well um, It's it's a possibility for you guys to go through and invest in them, you know, just in case we do get Yashin back um, I just did go through and picked up a few of them uh, just in case, you know, they do go extinct like what happened with Okocha um, So let's go through and level up that Puyol to 105 overall. This is going to be quite a, a long video guys But I just wanted to sort of go into depth about a few things um, let's go through and train up this Asenjo as well. So let's see. We need 55k XP, 58k XP. So we're going to just use the attack XP because it's better to just save the generic stuff uh, for later on if we need it potentially in the future. So let's go through and use a 2k, a 1k, and then we need 515 more. Let's see. Do we have any Russian midfielders as well? Just to show you guys. Oh, actually, strikers. So we got that striker there. Um, and that's about it. We also have a few uh, midfielders as well as well. Sorry uh, So we're gonna use the 500 and let's see we need 19 more So let's just go and use this bronze guy here and level that up guys and that should be 100 overall for the Spanish team. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it is there it is guys So there's a hundred overall with the Spanish team 
absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And obviously what this means is that I can go through and sell a whole bunch of these cards afterwards. So let's go through and jump into the final match for Puyo. So guys, here we are in the dying seconds of the Puyo campaign. Finally, we have completed this campaign. It's quite expensive, guys. It was quite expensive to do. You know, it costs a lot of coins. Um, but that's all good. That's all good. Finally done with it, guys. Finally done with it. 3-2, um, we did beat Real Madrid. So let's go through and claim up that XP as well as that rank up token, guys. Then we're just going to quickly go through and have a look at a few things on the market. Um, and then end off the video for the day. Um, but first and foremost, let's go through and check up how much... Or how high actually Puyo does go uh, in terms of, you know, his campaign XP. Because n not all the time do they go, you know, the full way, guys. So we've got all of his campaign done now. And he goes up to a 97 overall. So you're still going to need... Let's see. You're still going to need at least over... Near, yeah, over 3 million XP, guys, to complete him up to base 100. Uh, so that that's pretty crazy, man. That is pretty crazy. Um, but there we go, guys. Puyo campaign complete. Now, let's just go through and put in our highest overall because now I'm pretty sure we will be uh, 105, if not, you know, one point off 104. So let's see, guys. We are now 105 overall, so we do complete that achievement, uh, which is absolutely fantastic after we uh, upgraded that Puyo by one rating. So that's all good, guys. That's all good. I mean, this is probably the most generic team you'll see in FIFA Mobile. You know, with all the icons, the Ali, the Ronaldo, um, you know, Ramos, Mbappe or Lenz, whoever it may be. Uh, the Hazard, the, the Bale. But that's just the way it is, guys. You know, and on my mini account, as you guys know, we are pure and simple. Just, uh, sorry, on my mini account, we're, you know, doing fun stuff. Whereas on my main, guys, uh, we are actually, you know, trying to just build the, the highest possible team. So if that means we have to follow the meta, we follow the meta on my main account. But on the mini, guys, we have fun. So we get some FIFA points, some coins, and some more XP, which is always good, always good. And the next one is at 110 overall. So that won't be coming anytime soon. Now, just before we end off the video, guys, I just want to take a look at a few things. Now, Fernando Torres, 1.9 million. Very, very, very cheap. Um, if we have a look at other 88 overall strikers, let's see... Um, what their prices are. So are there any under 2.5? He could be worth an investment, you know, if you've got a whole bunch of coins, um, but that's that's up to you guys. Um, you know, it, it is that risk. Sorry, investments are still risky at the end of the day. Um, but as you can see, Higuain, um, you know, 2.2. So maybe not with Torres. You know, if you can get him for maybe 1.5, he'll definitely be worth it. Um, but other than that, guys, not, not so much. Uh, let's have a look at Jung as well as uh, Jorge. They are also potential good ones. Um, so 86 overall Jung. Let's see how much he is. Um, I'm not actually sure. So we'll just actually just search in any price. So let's see. Okay, so he's, he's, he's actually quite expensive. Oh, no, he's not actually. 500k. See, I might be investing in a few of him, to be honest. Um, let's just go through and see who the cheapest uh, 86 overall central defensive midfielder is. Um, so let's go through and put in, I don't know, 1 million coins. I, I don't know if there is one actually under 1 million coins. This is always a good thing to check, guys, um, you know, to see whether or not there are other cards with the same rating at the same price. And then if, if not, um, just, you know, go through and pick them up and just see if they rise. You know, that, that's always an option. I think Jung is the only 86 overall central defensive midfielder in the game. So let's go through and have a look at 85s. 85 overall under 1 million coins. Um, I know that there's the heavy Martinez, but he's over 1 million coins. Um, actually, he's he's 900k. He's actually dropped a bit, um, but that's expected, uh, you know, with regards to that Jung dropping. So as you can see, you know, these cards are one rating lower, but that Jung is still, you know, like 500k, and these cards are like 900k. Obviously, that's because the supply at the moment is extremely high, um, but definitely something to consider, guys. Definitely something to consider. And then finally, let's just have a look at Jorge, guys. And then we've got to end off the video. It's quite a long one today, but I just wanted to go through a whole bunch of things uh, and sort of what's going on. Uh, so left back Jorge, let's see how much he is going for. See, he's he's a bit... He's cheap, man. I'm probably going to invest in a few of these cards, guys. 500k. Yeah, I'm going to try and get a few of him 
uh, for under 500k if I can. Because 86 overall for a left back, guys, is so, so, so cheap. You might be sitting on him for a while, but, you know, a few a few of them, you know, it's, it's worth the risk, to be honest. Are there any other 86 overall left backs? I don't think there are. He's the only one. Let's go through and have a look at 85 overall left backs and see how much they cost. So we've got Jordi Alba, guys. 1.2 mil. Um, his price has actually dropped a whole bunch. He was he was always hovering at around, um, you know, around two million coins. But I think that 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 card, uh, the Jorge, would have had sort of an effect on him. But as you guys can see, you know, it's, it's definitely something to consider. And you know, the, the only the next cheapest left back is uh, Marcelo for, from Brazil. Sorry, I should say, uh, you know, who's high rated uh, and he's so expensive, guys. Let's have a look at him. He's like yeah, over ten mil, around twelve mil. But other than that, guys, it's going to be the end of the video for today. Thank you all for everything and peace.